Hi folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play the Pandora Directive. If you recall, we had just uh, managed to pull a photo and a cufflink out of a coat after we saw a man up here on the rooftop. And that photo, after we analyzed it, led us to the location of one Autotech. So, I think we need to go investigate this, don't you? I find the Autotech building without any problem. But all the doors require some kind of security card, which I don't have. Well, that didn't work out for us. However, thinking about it, if we need some way into Autotech, who, where might we find some sort of pass card? Maybe at other places that guy in black has been, right? So, and where can we else do we know that the guy in black has been besides on the rooftop? Well, we know he killed that one girl. And we know a certain newspaper reporter that has... There it is. That has info on a said, you know, killed girl. Not the nicest thing to think about, but hey, sometimes that's how it works. Oh, I better pull that into... Hang on, just one second here. I need to pull something into view. There we go. Okay. Come on. There we go. Whenever I tab out to move my recorder, it decides to do that. It makes it difficult. Let's turn this on. We need to talk to Miss Purnell. Hey, guess what I found out? Mm -hmm. Got a source that told me Lee Kettler signed a confession before he supposedly killed himself. Only now it's like the confession never happened. No paperwork, no nothing. So Kettler was the real Black Arrow killer? Looks that way. Maybe the NSA found it useful for people to think that the killer's still on the loose. So why'd you call? Yeah, I just needed to ask you a few questions. We only need one name. I talked to her family after the murder, but they didn't have any useful information. If you want to give it a try, I'll give you the address. And that's all we need. So now, we will travel to, I think it's still in San Francisco, yes it is. Excuse me folks, I'm gonna have to cough. The Collins residence is in the new city, in a nice, middle-class neighborhood. Takes some explaining, but I finally get Mrs. Collins to let me look around her daughter's room. She tells me that nothing's been moved in the room since the police were here. Hmm. So let's start poking around, huh? And the bookcase seems fully functional. The shelves are filled with reference books, but it's nothing I'd be interested in. The shelves are filled... Well, if nothing else, these plates certainly are happy. Indeed they are. Let's see, plenty of stuff to scuffle around in the room. Nothing in here at all. Okay. Nothing in here. Well, let's take a look over here. Typical sliding. Nothing too fascinating about these clothes. Well, I don't know, Tex. They at least look fashionable. But yeah, nothing in there worth getting excited about. Nothing of interest in here. Huh. Looks like someone's gone through all the contents of these boxes. Yeah, well, that's not going to be helpful, is it? Well, the bed looks comfy. But there'll be plenty of time for a nap later. Yeah, we got work to do. These masks look... Vaguely ominous. Hopefully we don't get knocked out again. Nothing very interesting about this desk lamp. Looks like someone's gone. Another box, another box. All of the boxes will say that. I have a hunch that some of these drawers might just open. Really? Nah, that's good to... Uh, nothing in here, but... Uh, nothing in here. 
I have a hunch that's some Yep. And nothing in here but and nothing. Nothing very interesting about this desk plan. Hmm. Okay, so that's a bus so far. What about that? Hmm. Strange. Ah. A color print from the Allen Collection of Mayan Art. Never heard of it. Alien Autopsies, Mayan Art... I'm sensing a pattern. Anyone else? Just me? Okay. And the bookcase seems full. The shelves are filled with rep. Evidently, nobody saw anything the night Sandra was murdered. It's hard to believe with all these houses so close by. Hmm. Evidently, nobody. Okay. Ah. The sewing table appears to. Like a canister of hairspray. Yeah, we can't take that. These papers lying all around don't appear to be very important. Is that something? Cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. Yeah, you'd think we could take and the hairspray. Gown. Cosmetics are scattered. Cosmetics are. Sc What's this? Something that flashes more than look. Oh, what have we here? Looks like it might be a credit card or an ID. Let's pick it up and examine it, shall we? An Autotech security card. I wonder if Sandra Collins worked at Autotech. No. Fitzpatrick said she worked at the college. Maybe this card was dropped by whoever killed her. And bingo. We now have what we were looking for. Whoops. I actually wanted to travel. Now that we have that card... We can go back to Auto Tech. Auto Tech is housed in a nondescript building in the industrial sector. I go around to a side door and slip the card through the scanner. The door clicks open and I find myself in an empty lobby. Yep, it's a very empty lobby and in here we are safe, believe it or not. Even though we're not supposed to be here. But let's start poking around. And all the obvious stuff. That's an interesting piece of machinery. These look like security monitors. Now your basic office chair. You know, you might want that to keep to uh, like stop a security using yours. station. Luckily, an unmanned security station. Yeah. Just in case you didn't guess, the guard is out doing rounds, and he'll be gone pretty much the entire time we're in here. It's a card marked Visitors Pass. Ooh, visitors Pass. That's a visitor's pass. Visitor, auto tech, visitor number 14, the world of computing at your fingertips. Wow. An ashtray inside an office building. Scandalous. Oh, you and your sarcasm. These remind me eerily of electric chairs. That's not the vibe I got. But okay. Sometimes you're weirder than normal techs. Either somebody accidentally left their hairbrush here, or Autotech provides grooming tools as part of their customer service. What's this? That's the way I came in. So we don't want to go that way. What's this? A PC magazine. I wonder why they don't provide any decent reading material like True Detective or Highlights. Ah, good old Highlights. Let the pathetic selection of reading material on that end table. This door appears to be locked from the other side. Oh, we won't be getting in, will we? Okay, where is it? I'm missing something. That's the way I... Apparently, the employees aren't hat wearers. Apparently not. I think it's right. Yeah, there it is. This cord controls the blinds. So, let's steal it. Just because, you know, well, we might need it. So let's shift up just
just a little bit so we can see in here. This is one of those fancy new windows that slides open and shut. Hmm. Nothing too interesting to see through the glass in the reception area. Wait. That clipboard looks interesting. It does, huh? Looks like a desk. Uh, it's a clipboard with what appears to be check-in codes written on it. Unfortunately, the writing's too small for me to make out and I can't quite reach it. Hmm. Well, let's look around here and see what happens over on this side. The door to the reception area is locked. Yeah, well, what about this side? Looks like I'll need to find a special card and passcode before I can open that door. So we need a card and a passcode. The scanner requires a security card and a code number. Well, you got the security card and the code number, as you might have guessed, is on this clipboard in here. But how do we reach it? Kind of like this. Yeah, I know, it doesn't make a ton of sense, but roll with it. This is what you have to do. You now got a miniature grappling hook. How did you do that? Hello, MacGyver! Well, let's take a look. From looking at this clipboard, I'd guess that every visitor at Autotech is given their own access code. Well, pay close attention, we had card 14, which uses code 8338. That can come in pretty handy for us. And because we are about to face the first real area where we can die in the game, I'm going to let you see that. So we increment and save. Okay. And I don't think I'll have time to do this both ways. So, let's see, where is my card? Visitor's Pass. We use, and hopefully, last time I did this, the game crashed right here. Security code accepted. Now see, once we walk in there, we've got about a minute to actually do what we need to do. But instead, we are going to show you what happens if you don't do things the right way. Come on, where is he? Now yeah, let's speed this along. This door's in a... Suddenly different ending. Tex glares at us accusingly. His ghost, anyway. And he just shrugs, somewhat helplessly. PI rule number four, don't get caught. Sounds simple, but it's a little harder to practice, as the thug in Autotech clearly proved. If I'd been a little more cautious, I might have been able to stay out of his sight long enough to figure out something that would get this guy out of the way. Yep. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. When we come back, I'll show you what you have to do to get that guard out of action. It also involves popping open that door. But as you noticed, you have a second or two before the door pops open, before the uh, guard comes in after you pop open that door. So we will have some time to take care of everything. Until next time, take care everyone. See you later.